Hey, look at there, we're on. Good morning, everybody. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. We have a uh, change of venue here today because we have rain. Boy. Uh, you know, I've been, uh, when I started, actually, I was on the swing right over there uh, doing these outside. Love being outside to do these. Then as it got warmer, moved out onto the back porch. The back porch has a tin roof. So when it's raining, can't hear. <laughs> Come out here and the uh, the front porch swing is in the rain also. So, a little change of venue today as we get started. Uh, so just a little heads up about that. Thank you so much for being here. Whether you are new, this is the first time you've watched, or whether you've watched all 70-something of them. Thank you. <coughs> Get me all coughed up. Choked up. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Whether you're new or you're a returning guest. Uh, and whether you're watching live or on the replay, I'd love it if you'd drop your name and comments down below so that I can see that you are here. Say hi to you. Uh, and so that you get an update anytime somebody leaves a comment to this video. You know, that's one of the hidden gems of commenting on this video or any video for that matter uh, through Facebook if you will uh, when you leave a comment then when other people come in to comment uh, Facebook helps you out with that gives you notifications to that so that you can see other people have something to say about the same video that you commented on so good morning Keith and good morning Karen thank both of you for being here I appreciate that so today we're going to continue the five steps. Five steps to create, uh, to begin creating results. Yesterday we talked about step number one, which was own it. You have to really, honestly and truly, understand what it is that you're trying to create. Until you have that, none of the rest of the steps matter. We have to begin with understanding what you really, and truthfully, understanding what you want to create. And I emphasize truthfully because sometimes we are... Um, unclear with ourselves. <laughs> we mask what we really want um, because we don't want to talk about it. I mean, it's really easy to say, you know, I want to make more money with the business. Well, why do you want to make more money? That almost always gets my coaching clients to stumble. I mean, some of them are pretty clear, but the vast majority of them don't like to talk about what they would do with money or don't know. They just hadn't thought about it. They thought making money was the end. You know, money's just a tool. All right, so step number one, get really clear on what you want to do. Step number two, our topic for today, is you have to plan it. You have to know what those milestones are between where you are and where you want to go. I talked yesterday about Eisenhower's quote about a plan being worthless but planning being priceless. That's so you can adjust along the way if you need to. But um, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't create the plan. Right? Think about it this way, and this, this is the analogy I like to use. If you're going to go on a trip, drive across country, right? Um, when, let's say, we're in Alabama and we're going to drive to, I don't know, Oregon. It's driving all the way across the country. All I really need to know when I start is that I'm headed west. Right? But the further I go, the more attention I need to pay to which road I'm taking so that I don't go too far out of my way, and that I actually end up in the destination that I'm traveling to. So that's at a macro sense, but there's a micro sense also. right? So, so let me relate that to what we're doing here. When we know what we want to accomplish, right? let's say I want to get 100 new customers. All right? 100 new customers, does that sound like a lot? If I want to get a hundred new customers, I know I need to do that by doing certain things, right? By making phone calls, by sending emails, by creating content, right? So the number of phone calls I make today and tomorrow really doesn't matter because I know I'm going to need to make a thousand phone calls to get a hundred leads or more, right? So just start calling. But the more I call and the closer I get to that hundred, I will learn things about my customer and I'll need to be more specific. That's where the micro planning comes in. Have you ever taken a road trip and as you're driving, even if we're, we used to drive between here and Dallas a lot, 
I know all of the little towns from from point A to point B. And as you're driving from point A to point B, you make these little uh, mini or micro destinations. Like, okay, how far away are we from uh, Tuscaloosa? How far away are we from Meridian? How far away are we from Vicksburg? Right, and each one of those destinations becomes a little, uh, a little finish line, a little victory marker along the way. Right, same thing with a business. If you need a hundred new customers, ten is a tremendous victory. Twenty is another tremendous victory. Right, so we need to know not only what what we're trying to get, that's what we decided in step number one, but we need to know how we're going to get there. We need to plan a path to get there. Otherwise, we just might as well put a blindfold on, walk around, kind of stumbling around with our hands out, trying to figure out, uh, trying to find it by accident, if you will. All right? So step number one, own it. Know what you want to create. Step number two is plan it. Right? Understand specifically what you're trying to create and the mile markers that mark progress toward getting there. How do you know? I, I worked with a CEO one time, and, and he had great questions. He had great questions. He would say, how can I tell if we're winning or losing? That's one of the best questions I've ever heard a CEO ask. How can I tell if I'm winning or losing? What are the, what are the indicators? What are the markers that say I'm winning? And if I'm not achieving those, then by definition, am I losing? Right? You need to know those about your life, your business, the work that you're doing, even hobbies. Right? You need to progress in the hobby also. All right, hope some of that has helped some of you. Good morning, Mark. Thank you for being here this morning also. Remember, if you're watching live or now, if you're about to be watching on the replay, be sure to leave me a comment and say hi. Just a quick programming note. I will be here tomorrow with seven minutes in the morning. And kind of back to a regular schedule tomorrow, but today, no radio show today. That normally comes up at the top of the hour at 8 o'clock. We are foregoing the radio show today to give the team at the radio station a day off for the holiday. So, um, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please leave me a note, let me know that, and share this video with somebody that can benefit from it. All right? I'll be back again tomorrow with step number three of five, how to start creating results. I'll talk to you in the morning. Until then, you take care.